finally got a good little weather window this morning for a few hours, so I thought I'd sneak out and see if we can catch something for dinner. Um, yeah, everyone I've talked to around lately has not been doing very well at all, so it is that time of year. The fishing's not real great in winter. Well, not for me anyway. So. But you don't know if you don't try, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm on. A cod. It surely is a little yellow fucking looking cod. Just a tiddler. Okay, the tide's running way too hard at that spot, so I'm um, gonna head over Fraser and head up one of the creeks, try and get a few live baits and have a bit of a fish up there for an hour or so until the tide slows down a bit and then got a bit of a deeper mark over here in the chipping channel that I want to fish so we'll give that a crack at the top of the tide and then after that I'm pretty sure the wind's gonna pick up so yeah we'll probably head up the river then and fish the run out um, just probably soak a few liveys at one of the drains or something try and get a thready or I don't know don't like me chances but you don't know if you don't try all right so just through the cast net for probably half an hour I managed to get I don't know dozen herring bloody hard going so it's just a bit of a snag on the edge of this corner I'm just gonna see how I go I'll give it about 20 minutes here and then I'll head back out the front so I reckon I'm a very good chance of a little cod <laughs> that seems to be my specialty bloody beautiful morning anyway isn't it eh? have a look at it where would you rather be? Here's me little cod. Little, little cod, I reckon. Little, little one. Oh yeah, even littler than I thought. Beautiful. I think he's even littler than the last one. I was gonna say, it's better than catching nothing, but I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it keeps you interested. Alright, so I just want to thank everyone too that subscribed lately. Um, made it up over 500, which is crazy I um when I started making regular videos at the start of the year I thought oh if I could make 500 by by December or yeah within the 12 months I'd be pretty happy with that and managed to do it in six months so that's good um yeah I don't usually push the subscribe thing and all that sort of shit so yeah bloody thanks a lot to everyone that has and if you haven't already just yeah go on click subscribe won't hurt you um yeah, also I've been thinking a lot lately about um, changing the the name of the channel. Um, because, yeah, I obviously won't always be fishing the Sandy Straits. And, yeah, I kind of wanted to get away from that. So I'm going to change it to um, Straight Catch and Cook. So, yeah, I'll just do like I re do regularly in my videos. Um, fishing at the start, cooking at the end. If you don't want to... Um, watch either or you can skip through and watch what you want if you want to see the fishing just watch the first half if you want to see the cooking watch the second half or even better watch it all um yeah i'm going to try and give you a few pointers and that with the cooking side of things um oh i got a little touch then Got it, not real big. Scarlet, I reckon. Yep, I'm correct. Don't flick water all over me, sunnies. Oh 
he's all right. The cod. It's a shark. Fuck's sake. Look, this is it a gummy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, lucky you're not in Victoria, buddy. Settle down. I'm gonna let you go. Oop. Don't. Don't. Oh, you wanker. Bloody hell. All right. Better. I just caught a live pike on the vibe. I dropped him down. Doesn't feel as big, eh? Is it? Hey, the cod. The pike's still alive. <laughs> oh, let him go. It's probably only just legal. Only just slipped hooked, so. Give me pike another go. You still alive, buddy? No. Nah. Copped a bit of a scene too, didn't you? Oh, 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 I dropped it. That wasn't a cod either, I don't think. Still got me pike, beauty. You've seen better days, buddy. Look him again. Away you go. Mm, not very good hook exposure there. We'll go down a bit lower on his tail, I think. So we can get a bit more point out. Oh, they love the pike. Everything loves pike. Just trying to catch another one on me vibe. He's on the bottom. Oh. Tell you what, the surefire way to get a bite is to get your dick out and start having a piss. It works every time. I got this guy this time. Cod, I reckon, a bit better one. Yep. Yeah, you can come home. I was after something a bit meatier for the what I want to cook. He'll do. Not a bad little fella. Might actually just bleed him while he's still hooked. Sorry mate, I'll get a sharper knife. That's not fair, is it? This is a cod. <laughs> Big flatty again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Come on, in you come. <sighs> this is my new big flatty spot. <laughs> Not a psycho flatty. Right out, right out, right out. That's a nice eating size flatty too. Alright. Um, 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 um. 
excuse me. Here we go. Might be what we're after. Possible stingray. I was just thinking, should have caught a stingray by now. <laughs> Oh, get another live here. Alrighty, I think that'll do me for up the river. That's bloody three hours soaking live bait for one stingray. So, wind's picking up. It's getting a bit bloody annoying blowing the boat around. So, I think that'll do me. I'm heading home. Have a few beers, I think. Catch us. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to make some cod burgers. I was yeah, I was undecided whether to use the cod or the flatty, but I think the cod will be a better shape to fit on the burger, I think, rather than having like, three pieces of flatty to fill your burger bun up. The um, size of the cod fillet should fit a bit better, I think. Um, I'm going to do them in like a southern fried sort of coating. So, I'll um, knock the sides off this guy. And then I'll run you through it. Um, so these fish have been on ice overnight, so they're nice and set now. Much easier to fill it if you leave your fish on ice overnight. Flesh is nice and firm. And um, yeah, when a little trick to skinning, what I do is leave the leave the fillet attached, just so you've got that weight there. And then just find it easier to run your knife along the, having that weight there rather than trying to hold onto the skin. See, comes off nice. Slimy bloody things these cod. Pretty tasty though, eh? I do like a feed of cod. Old slime ball. See, leave him attached. Just give this board a little rinse off. You don't want to get too much fresh water on your fillets, but I'd rather a little bit of fresh water on there than cod slime. Okay, so I'll just take that little bit. Just take those pin bones out. And Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just cut the fillet on a pretty big angle. Um, 
just I reckon two pieces like that should be perfect for me burger so then this thicker bit I'll even go a bigger angle again just so it cooks evenly so I'll start right up there see that's pretty much the same thickness as that piece now so I'll cook the same and I'll do something else with these other bits Okay, Daisy's hanging around. Daisy doesn't mind a flatty skin, do you, Daisy? You want a flatty skin, girl? Oh, yum. Okay, so the fish is filleted. So then in a bowl, um, panko breadcrumbs. About that much. I'm only doing the one burger, so I don't need a lot. Um, ground cumin. Garlic powder. Onion powder, smoked paprika, you can use normal paprika, sweet paprika, but I like the smoked stuff, it just gives it that bit of um, extra flavour. Sea salt flakes, and some dried oregano, and then some of this, um, this forgetter, it just adds a bit, of, I think it's the MSG in it to be honest, that makes it Gives it that bit of extra whack. And then, cracked black pepper. I'll put the um, amounts of everything in this down in the description. I'll just do the crumbs, you don't really need amounts for the rest of the salad and that bit though, so. All right, then just give that a bit of a mix through. Just use your hands, doesn't matter. Okay, smells pretty good. All righty. Okay, so when I crumb fish, I don't bother with the, I don't bother flouring it first. I just whack my fish in a sandwich bag, crack an egg in there, just seal that back up. And just give it, normally, it's like one egg would do a lot more fish than this. But just for the purpose of this, we'll just do waste a bit of egg. So I'm just give a smash that one up. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like fish and egg, I don't know. Okay, so that's good to go. Bring that bowl back. And that nicely. You don't really want to, you kind of want to get it drippy in there with as much egg on it as you can. So you get as much, as much crumbs on there as possible. Make sure it gets into all the crevices and that's all your flavour. Okay, so you can't have a fish burger without tartare sauce either, so, well that's my opinion, but, so, capers, pretty sure you've all got a pretty good handle on this, it's a bit awkward actually, I've got the GoPro in front of me trying to shop with the GoPro in the way, but, Alright, got some mayo in the bowl already. Um, one thing I would say, just make sure you use whole egg mayo because, yeah, that other stuff's disgusting. In the bowl. Okay, a little bit of white onion. Get out of it. Okay, that's enough. That's heaps of onion actually. I do like raw onion though, so. Alright, give it all that a stir. Beautiful. Mmm. Okay, so you've got to have a bit of um bit of healthy stuff on there too, so got some tomato, that's plenty, uh, one of these baby cucumbers, these are bloody delicious these are, whoop whoop whoop, bit hard working around the old GoPro, okay so 
Got those, a bit of this, just this mixed lettuce you buy in a bag, pre-washed, ready to go. Okay, I've got some canola oil in my wok. Just bring that up to temp. You want it to about 180 degrees. Um, easiest way to tell, you can stick a probe in it. That's the easiest way if you've got a probe. Otherwise, um, when it gets a bit hotter, I'll show you. Okay, so I've just got a brioche bun too. That's just, um, I've just got it on a pizza tray. It's gonna go in the oven just for a tick. Um, almost forgot to, you can't do a cooking thing without beer, can you? Um, it is nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm having a bit of an early lunch because I woke up so early, so, yeah. Okay, so that looks to be getting a bit hotter now. I'll, um, got my probe here, so I'll, um, stick my probe in, see what we're at. Okay, that's 178. So, the other way is just grab a bit of your crumbs, dump them in. They fry like that. They don't sink to the bottom, they fry. Good to go. So we'll get the fish in. That won't take long. Oh, I wish you could smell that, hey? That is, smells amazing. Yeah, just dump those buns off there. I'll whack me brioche bun oven. There you go. Okay, so that'll only take about, I don't know, I'll give it two minutes each side. You really want it nice and crispy, that's the idea. Okay, that's about a minute and a half. Put them over. Okay, I'll, I'll just test it, see if it's cooked. I'll just give it a bit of a press. And you can feel it kind of flake away, like that bit there is still a bit spongy, where's that bit starting to come apart? So, yeah, that bit's done. Look at that, beautiful. Now I'm just flipping them over so it doesn't get too crispy. Probably looks slightly burnt and the, yeah, that's done now. Take him off. Turn the oil off. Okay, so my bun's ready. It's done out, so I'll just go a bit of I'll just go a bit of tartare on top, a little bit on bottom. Just so everything sticks. Spread him around, and I've got my fish. Probably didn't even need the two pieces, but why not? Heap more tartare in there. Spread that around, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, what next? Do you reckon tomatoes? Oh, you can't have tomato without any salt and pepper on it, so get some salt, pepper. Okay, now my kiwis, lay those little fellas over. Lettuce, might as well go a bit more sass here on that bun, there's a bit more left. And there you go. That's all right, eh? All right, it's time for the taste test, I guess. I might cut him in half, actually, just so. A bit easier to manage. Look at that. Mm. 
bloody good. Mm. Alright, you guys don't want to watch me eat like a pig. So I'll see you on the next one, eh?